Okie dokes. Let's see if anyone's out here. This is always the question. When you do pop on, pop your name in the chat box. Let's see who shows up. Ah, I've got Alvin. I've got three people. So if you pop your name in the chat box, there isn't lessons as such. I'll explain to you what we're going to do over the next three weeks. Um, so we've got Steph, we've got Katarina, we've got Evie, we've got Alex, we've got Yasmin, and then we've got Silence. Um, yeah, it's good to see all of you. Louis, I hope. Sally, ah, I'm not even going to try. I know I'm learning Russian. I cannot say that second name, Sally. Um, so is that everybody? That's clearly not. It's like they've dropped down to eight people. So if you pop up in the chat, be massively grateful. Um, Iona, hello. It's good to see you. Hang around for a minute or so and then we'll get started. It's not... I'll explain what's going on. I mean, what we can do while waiting is if you've got any questions about where we stand and where we are, this might be the time to pop them in the chat box. So if you've got any particular questions yourself about what's going down, etc. Austin is not here. Yes, I agree he's not here. I mean, he's not alone in that. I don't know why you're just picking on Austin. I feel like some element of racism there. Just because Austin is not here. There you go. I think you were wrong. Saul and Ilya. Saul and Ilya are not here. Um, well, I hope they show up, to be honest with you. No, you're picking only on guys. So it might not be racism. It might be sexism. That's what I think, anyway. We'll hold on for about another minute or two. But if you've got questions you want to ask, just for a minute, about like the whole procedure and what's going down, this might be the time to ask before everyone. I don't know how many, how much everyone's going to be. We've got like nine or ten people, which is I think half decent, but still not fifty percent yet. We can have a few more on that. So I'll start talking about 30, 30 seconds to a minute. But if you've got a question, pop it in the chat box. That'd be a good place to start. Hmm. Who's new is not here. I mean. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll chase up everyone who isn't here individually and have a quick chat and find out why. Um, I appreciate you doing my register for me. That's quite handy. I've got about another 30 seconds, I would say. If anyone else is not around, just to avoid me having an unnecessary conversation, pop your name in the chat box. That would be super, super useful. <sighs> And as I said, if you've got any particular questions you want to ask about where we are and how we are doing, you know, it might be that I'll answer them during the course of the stuff I'll say to you, but you know, at least I know that's what you want to know. Hey, I should get to see you. Um, so yeah, I'll give it 30 more seconds. Anyone else who's going to pop up will presumably pop up in that time. What I'm asking you is if you've got any particular questions, afternoon source, good to see you. Um, if you've got any particular questions that you want to have answered during the course of us having a little chat now, um, pop them in the chat box so I can see them and like I can prepare the things I'm going to say to you. I am debater king, but still, you know, preparation is, is always helpful. All right, let's give that about another 20 seconds. How saw we missed you? I mean, yeah, he grasped you up for what it's worth. Um, right, okay. Let's roll, let's roll, let's now. Is our attendance this online browser? Okay, here's what I'm saying to you. Um, and I think, <laughs> but not being in the room at the right that minute, and I just said, they'll pop up, don't worry. Um, here's what I'm gonna to say to you on this one. I would, yeah, I would say like, you should be in them. Let me go through this, let me, let me speech at you, all right? And then hopefully it will answer that, but then you're gonna get a chance to talk about promise. And it's not just that I love the sound of my voice. So let's start from the beginning, what the hell are we doing here? The college has decided that they want to keep in contact with you for at least another, well, not at least, it will be three weeks, as far as I understand it. And they want you to attend lessons. And there are different criteria, and different values for what people are going to do with their lessons. So I know there's people in year 13 that haven't finished the course. It would not be right for them to leave this college with a grade without finishing the course. So that, that's one reason. Second reason is this one, potentially, or second, second kind of justification, second thing we're going to do with this stuff, is to prepare you for what the situation that you're going to be going through over the next few months. 
And that's primarily what I'm going to do with these. So I've got, we've got nine lessons, eight now after this one, right? At least two of them will be one-to-ones lessons. So let's, that cuts it down to about six. The last one at the end of the third week will be a goodbye lesson. If they don't decide to cancel these earlier than that, that will be the goodbye lesson. So you're down to five. And in those lessons, I want to prepare you for a variety of different things. The first one is how is the process, how is this process going to work out for you and what you need to do? The answer to that is actually not a lot because we're not taking in any new content with one exception, and I'll explain that. Um, I also want to prepare you for applications to universities. And you will say, well, I've already done UCAS, what are you talking about, BJ? But I think the whole situation will be incredibly fluid when the results come out. Um, when do we break up? In theory, um, not this Friday, not the Friday, that Friday afterwards, the, the third Friday. So we have eight lessons after this one. But as I said to you, those eight lessons become five lessons, realistically. Because a goodbye goat is a goodbye, and a, two of them at least will be one-to-ones. So it'd be next Friday in three weeks. So that's what I'm going to be using my lessons for, to prepare you for applications for... What? I've been no non sequiturs, right? Um, so prior for applications for both jobs, internships, apprenticeships, whatever. Um, and there's like things like maths exams that you might need to sit or, you know, like um, competency, competency tests for things like apprenticeships. I'm going to do that. That's one thing I'm going to do. I'm also going to do things like if you are studying a particular subject, I'm going to pick on you, um, Sally, just because I know what you're studying. I know you're studying psychology, so there's stuff I can help you with to give you a kickstart or a head start, sorry, kickstart's a bit weird, a head start for university when you go in. Because it might well be possible that universities aren't going to be ready to start in September and you might be doing online lectures. So it might be helpful for me to do other things like that. Some of you guys will look at your prospects um, in terms of your grades and think, well, you know what? I want to change what I'm doing. I, I, want, I was going to go and do a maths and science degree. I'm not saying no one's doing a maths degree, but you know. Or I want to do a maths degree now because I'm feeling more confident. Are we no longer learning or revising, revising maths? I mean, the vast majority of the stuff we're going to be doing is not going to be hugely, you know, we're not going to be doing lessons. We might be doing maths. Though. So let me give you an example. If I wanted to say, let's do maths for psychology and economics at university as a lesson. And when I say as a lesson, I'll never go longer than an hour, but probably about more like half an hour. I might teach you SPSS and I might teach you how um, hypothesis tests work in real life. And that is maths. You've been learning maths content. Yeah. So it's not the case that you're going to put it this way. I've spent about two weeks insofar as when I wasn't asleep or crying because I was stuck in my house trying to think of how can I make this stuff useful for you. And I'm going to do some offbeat ones as well. It's like SPSS is a um, software program that you can use to work out um, whether things are correlated and various statistical things. Basically, in psychology, obviously, if they're psychology, they don't want to spend too much time doing that, so the calculator to computer doesn't fall in. But anyways, that will be something else. Also thinking like when you guys come out of, like, of lockdown in April or May, um, there's two things that could potentially happen. And I think the second one is going to happen. The first one is you might not be comfortable or confident with the grade you're going to get. and You might want to do the September exam. So I'm going to have to spend some time doing maths on that. And I think that's a possibility that every single one of you should take into account, whether you're EV, sorry to use you as my example of a very, very clever person, or whether you're not EV, because there's nobody stupid in this class. So you need to have at least to put some mind to it. You need to have it like, do you know what I mean? We could just use the calculator. It's more handy. You have no clue what you're talking about. I'll be, I promise you. Um, you tried doing like psychology level statistics on a calculator, it didn't melt. Um, I mean, I, I mock psychology, I mock sociology more, but like the maths they do, they don't understand this, but the maths they do is quite hard. So that's what I'm trying to say to you. That's number one thing as well. It's another thing that we're going to cover in these three weeks. What happens if you don't get the grade you want? And that comes on to something else I want to talk about. Many of you guys have seen the Ofsted stuff, the Ofsted guidance from Ofsted. Yeah, and they said, da, 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 da. and it's not been as detailed as you'd hoped. And I'll be honest with you, yes, yes, absolutely, of course you can. And I, once I shut up, I know I'm monologuing, but if I monologue and then you can ask me loads of questions and put that stuff up. And the good thing is, I'll go back and watch this video because I'm a loser like that. 
Um, but let me monologue for about five more minutes. As you may or may not know, I've sent out the link, well, the college sent out a link to the Ofsted guidance, the off-core guidance, rather. You know, to some extent, this is teacher guided, but it's not entirely in my hand, and that needs to be clear. It is not that, oh, it's going to be the will of Goswami that I don't know Husna gets an A star, because I simply am not going to be given that power, because any teacher with that power is incredibly, you know, I mean, it's just open, it's totally open to bias. So it's going to be moderated. It may be with the best will in the world, you get a C or a D, and you may not be satisfied with that. So you need to keep that September branch open, especially if you're someone who's not you know, not in, like obsessive about going to university in September. So bear that in mind. I see I'm losing viewers. I mean, I promise I'll stop monologuing in a minute. So that's one branch to be opened. I was also going to think about doing a little bit of an offbeat one where you could make a bit of money out of all of this. And I know I'm going to make a fortune. There's going to be a lot of parents that are going to be looking for private tutors um, for their children at GCSE level or younger, just in case, just in case they need to do that thing in September. And one of the lessons I'm planning to do is how to become a private tutor. I mean, it's kind of self-defeating. So I'm teaching you how to be my competition, but hey, I'm confident in my skills. And to be fair, that's a decent source. I think it'd be a decent source of money over this summer, um, especially as like a lot of you, I don't know how, how like people are planning holidays. Good luck with that now. My dad was going to come. No, that's not happening. I mean, a lot of things are going to be changed up. Okay, cool. Okay, I said I'd monologue for 15 minutes. I've monologued for about seven or eight. I'm going to shut up now. What I want to do is hear questions from your side. What do you want to know? What information can I give you? What have I not made suitably clear? Um, and I'll wait a few minutes for that. I want to make it clear that this Thursday, the nine o'clock lesson, will be one-to-ones with the first six people in the register. Just give me a minute. I'm going to find out who they are. I really should check my register more often. Um, register, register, register. So I'll, I'll, I'll read out the list of people I'm going to do one-to-ones with. What are we doing today? We're going to basically do this conversation and not a lot else. But the thing about this conversation is I want your ideas about what we're going to do for the rest of it. This is not going to be a huge, huge long thing. Okay, so I'm not doing an hour and a half today for the simple reason we're finished. But I want, this is your time to now think about what useful things can I do for you? So I'll pick one for you, Aisha, because you asked the question. You are, I don't know if you're still going for apprenticeships or you've solidified your apprenticeship or not. If I were you, I'd be picking my brains as in, as in DJ on things like what sort of, like, you know, things like the, the numerical entrance exams for apprenticeships. Where can I get, kind of, where, what contact details would be useful for me to apply directly for apprenticeships right now a lot of people aren't at work. So you, you want to be thinking about, okay, how can I use this time to be more effective in getting the things I want? That might be that you have an apprenticeship, in which case I'm one talking nonsense and you can disregard me for this. And, but do you know what I mean? So each one of you, I know you all quite well. What do you need from me? And I'm going to put down a list of my ideas as well. It's, all right, so let's have a look. So we've got, I never heard of the things that Evie requested. Um, that's because you haven't done the degree yet. So do I still revise or like, what exactly, thank you, that is a superb question. Let's answer that. Unfortunately, it's a super, superb question with not a very good answer. I cannot, and I'm, let's get this out of the way now. You know I love you. I love you a lot. Not just you, Katarina, that sounded creepy, but every one of you. I need you to understand, I cannot tell you what your grade is, I cannot hint what your grade is. If I do, suppose it was my favourite Everest person, which is obviously him. Um, and I tell Hibbo her grade, I would not be surprised if every single grade in our class got cancelled. There is no way I can even give you the slightest hint about what grade you're going to get. And that's not even because right now I don't know. Even when I do know. So please don't ever put me in that position of asking me because I can't answer it. Because it would be literally like saying I favoritise one person over 29 or 30 people and I'm willing to take a risk and I'd be dishonest and I'd be cheating and I'm not going to do any of those things just because for those reasons it's wrong right um hold on just a second Let, keep popping up your questions I'm just going to finish off answering Katarina so Katarina what I'm going to say to you is what do you think realistically is the likelihood that you're going to need to do the maths exam in September you have a decent idea of how how well you're doing 
Yeah, you've seen your mock results, etc., etc., etc. I'm not saying that those are your results. I'm not giving any hints, but you've got an idea of how well you, you would do it. That's part one of your question. Part two of your question was this: Suppose it happens that you do need to. Yeah, what do you do? The first thing I worry about is that because the results are given out on August the 13th, you'd have about a month realistically to prepare for a September exam. If the exam was in September, which again hasn't been clarified yet. So I would say that if you think it's likely, I would say you're not going to be in full exam mode all summer. No, that would be impossible. You'd burn yourself out. And you know what? You're already under that much stress. I would say keep in touch with your mathematics if you think there is a realistic probability or possibility that you'd want to do it again. So I want to say keep in touch. I say like do something, like maybe do a paper a week or something like that. I would say also given the fact that we're all stuck together here, I mean, we're all stuck at home. There's not much going on. It could at least pass the time, yeah? I mean, in four weeks, hopefully, let's say we're all good. We're out, we're out on the street. I mean, it'll be a lot harder to keep the motivation. But that's the way I prepare. And then from the minute you've, from the minute you've kind of know because your results have come out, which I think it is August 13th or whenever, you snap into revision mode. I'm going to just give you a brief story on this. I know I'm talking a lot, but you know what? And as I said, like, well, we do other stuff in on YouTube. It won't be because we're only lecturing. Um, I'll take that second part of your question in just a moment. I, my girlfriend in my first year at university failed her exams. She found out, and the way university exams work is that you, you get a, a month to prepare. She passed the second, like she passed the second time with like proper coaching for me, but she only got a little bit of a higher grade because a month won't be enough. So just bear that little anecdote in mind. So if you do feel like you're going to have to reset, don't completely veg out for three months. I mean, it's it's not necessarily time for I don't know what what are people playing at the moment do or whatever. I mean, you can play do. But you, okay. Second of all, if I am going to show off from the union, do I do? No. That, look, the only reason, the two reasons to to reset your exam. One is for the university, and the second one is because that grade will follow you around. So the sec the answer to your second question, if I have unconditional offer from the uni but I want to attend, do I still need to fix this exam? Only if you feel like the grade you're going to get is going to be so harmful to your future prospects, it's going to go around with you, okay? I'll give you an example for anyone who's doing law. If your university degree is lower than a two once, that's an upper second, you that will kill your life chances practically of being a barrister. It's not like hard and fast because that's not how life works. There's obviously examples where it doesn't, but like 99% of the time, lower than a 2 1, you cannot be a barrister. Some it might A levels aren't quite that extreme, but if you feel like, I don't know, if you if it's like EEU and you think to yourself, but really I know I'm a C grade student. At, at that point, I'd say take the offer from the university, just do some revision over the summer and do the exam in September anyways, because it, then it's not walking around with you, all right? So just think about if, if you think that the grade that you would have got, and that's what we should be estimating for as teachers, would have been that bad, then, then do it. Okay, let me go through some of the other questions that we've got so far. Um, Hibo, you're telling me you're here. It's good to see you. I need to have a chat with you because I haven't heard from you for a while. Mechanics some other day and harder stats, yeah, by all means. In terms of grading, can you, is there somewhere you can appeal? Right, okay. The appeal is the reset. Okay, so you can appeal it. And I think the mechanism, as far as I understand it, is they're gonna, you're gonna go to them, sorry, let's let's pick you because it'd be ridiculous. Let's say I predicted you a you. If I do that, I, I deserve to roast in hell. Suppose, suppose I did. Suppose I did. Um, you go, no, sorry, that's absolutely insane. I'm sure there'll be a process for that. But if I predicted you a B, let's say, a B, you go, I'm an A-grade student at least, I'm probably an A-star, let's be real. Um, they're gonna might, they might just pop down and say, well, you know, prove it. And that will be your appeals process. It might be that every appeal is the exam, but we'll see. If I take these exams, do I need to take all the exams? Nope, you can pick whichever ones you like. And it's the same rules as it was before, in that if you say, suppose you predicted, your, I predicted you a B, and you got an A, I'm sorry, you got a, a C in the real exam when you did it in September, your B still counts. They've said that whatever you're predicted by this, remember when I say I'm predicting it, remember I've told you already I'm not God here, it's what, what, what the system throws out. So if the system throws out, you've got a B. You do an exam because you think you're an A grade student, and it turns out that you got a C, you'd still keep your B, it's still highest grade wins. Waiting for the final grades is ideal because you're not gonna feel sad because VJ will not get in troubles. I'm not going to get in troubles under any circumstances. 
I mean, I don't understand that. I mean, I'm telling, oh, you mean like, as in does not bother me? I'm just not, if you ask me, I'm just going to say, sorry, love you, but can't tell you. And I know you guys are clever enough to understand that. I have an unconditional offer. Yes, we've done that, we've done that. Okay, cool. So do we all understand that process? Okay, cool. So if we read it, yes, it stays. Yeah, just like as if it was a real exam. The whole thing they're trying to sell on you is that this is just like the real thing, except it isn't. And you know and I know that this is, again, I've got so many problems with this system. I mean, I don't know if you read it clearly, but he also said like they're looking at past results from the college. So basically the, what the kids two or three years ago got may affect. I mean, you've got to understand they still haven't solidified the system yet. But I feel that's, that's really, I mean, you, I can't, look, look, no disrespect. Our class is a good class. You can't judge this year's class by last year's class. And I hope they're not going to do that. But do you know what I mean? It's, there's a lot of things that need to be worked out. They haven't made anything even final yet. They're still asking for people's opinions, and you can be sure I've already put my opinion through that I think that the influence of like previous years at colleges shouldn't affect anything. So there's that. Okay, cool. What, what I'm now going to ask you to do is I'm going to say two, take two or three minutes. Can I ask you to come up with some themes of lessons or things you want to see? So I've already come up with um, maths for subjects. I want to do a general. What's uni like? And how can I prepare? And one thing you're quite lucky is that I've studied online before as well. So I've studied an online course at university. So if universities aren't open, I can tell you what that life's like as well. Um, word to the wise, it's pretty, pretty lonely. Um, I'm going to do how to become a tutor. Um, how to prepare for September if you need to. So these are all ideas I've got. I want to hear some of your ideas because right now I've monologued. I've uh, monologued for a while now. So I want to hear some of your ideas. Um, I will start opening up and using things like, um, you know, the, 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 Mac, the Microsoft Teams chat because, I mean, I'm tired of hearing my own voice for long periods. But I won't do it today because, I, mean, I don't know what, we could do it today. I can also do like some silly stuff. We can do cahoots. I know how to do that now. I mean, I should, it's your final time to beat me if you can. I mean, good luck with that. I'm not losing at home. But you know, it's there. How to cope with uni? Yeah, I can do that. The uni. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll put that in the uni stuff how to prepare in September. I can also do any maths topics you're not particularly happy with. Because at the end of the day, when you walk out with an A grade, God willing, they, when you say you've got an A grade in A level maths, that means something, and your exam, your, your people at the university will assume that you know something. So the computer science um, guys, the the economics guys, even the psychology guys, so like they might assume that you understand things that maybe you're not hundred percent on. So you might want to say that. I mean, I mean, you don't need to apologize for having anxiety. There's a lot of people that have anxiety. Um, and to be fair, anxiety isn't something that you have all your time in your life. I mean, it's 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 a thing that can come and go. So, like, never never apologize for who you are. I mean, you probably apologize apologize for some of the things you say. That's a different story. But I've no. Hopefully, Queen Mary or King's quite. Are you going to King's? That's where I went. You. Um, <laughs> what are you studying? And I want to hear from some other people. Lord. Tell me what you want to see in these. We're stuck together. And I do hope, I also, I'm going to, I'm going to ask for the following things. I mean, if you guys don't show up, it's not the end of the world, but two things will happen. Number one is that it's going to be less fun. And I enjoy these. These are like, this is my happy time of today. I mean, I like teaching my year 12s. Anyone who knows the six sigma class knows that, but this is my favorite class ever. And I'd quite like to kind of drag this on for like three weeks because, you know, happy times. Um, but like the other thing is like they might start to merge in classes if people don't show up. Uh, the thought of teaching other year 13s, I mean, they're nice people, but I mean, there's a few I like. I like Zahara, I like a few others, but you know. So make my life easy, show up to this. Um, Kings, I'll do it, yes, yes. Um, you're gonna do your, I need to talk to you as well, actually. Um, because I never heard how, how the acting thing went. When I do one-to-ones, I'm going to ask you all kinds of irrelevant questions, like how's your acting? So be ready for that. 
because I remember you being like a really awesome actor in the college production. And I remember asking you a few times. I remember slow like, stop. Um, yeah, I'll talk, Alvin, when we do one to ones, and I'll, I'll do like with a whole group, I'll talk to you about universities in and out of London as well, because I've done both of those. Um, Queen Mary and Kings are totally different places. Queen Mary is like Asian Central, um, which is it's nice. I mean, it's, 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 a more, it's more of a mixture than that, but it's because it's so heavily in Tower Hamlets. Um, Kings is weird. As you can tell, like both me and Greg went to Kings, and that tells you how different people are over there. I mean, Kings is a strange place. Definitely visit the rifle range while you're down there. They probably still, I hope they still remember me. I put a bullet in the ceiling one time. I should remember that. Um, yeah, so yeah. You're taking out. Who are you, Tashniat? I've forgotten who you are. I'm taking a gap year to get familiar with you. You should definitely resit, even if you've got A there, because you've got nothing. All the guys who are taking a year out, I would say resit. Because what the hell have you got to lose at that point? It's a free thing for no money. It's not going to affect your grades. I mean, it's probable that I'll predict you, like, whatever, or, and the system gives you. Remember, I predict you doesn't mean what you get. I mean, it's a thought. So those guys taking out a gap year, you might want to just take the free hit. Oh, Steph, yeah. You might want to take it as a free shot. I mean, suppose you, you got an A given by the system. Even if you got a Q in the exam, it'll prove that we're fools. Or you're moving to Sweden. Whereabouts? What can you do to get me to help with the university? Um, to help with the university, shadow in the subject you want to do. Um, are you going to Sweden as well? Why was I not invited? I mean, I don't like Sweden anyway, so it's too left wing. Um, Sensible question. Oliver, what can you do with a, a gap year to help with the university? I would say shadow what you're interested in. If you are, let's, let's, let's pretend you're computer science. Oliver, I know I don't know you as well as, as I should do. Um, so, like, in that case, spend time with people who do the job that you want to do in the long run. Um, just keep studying. Again, I'll, I'll cover that in one of the, one of the longer sessions. I want to know where um, Sully's going. I mean, yeah, Sweden, it depends where you're going. If you're going to stop, do you know there's like proper gang violence over there now? I'm not trying to put you off, but like people are throwing hand grenades at each other. So cool. Um, anyways, I'm going to cut this short in a few minutes. I know there's some people that are not, you know, for all the people that are interested, you know what, great. But I know there'll be some people that are bored. Um, that it is. I mean, when, when's the last time you saw a hand grenade, Katarina? I want a hand grenade. I mean, <laughs> what the hell am I talking about? So what I'm going to say is, um, as of me of now, the door is open for ideas on what we're going to do. So drop me messages and such. If you just want to hang and chat, I'll hang and chat. Wednesday will be like one of these ideas. So it'll be maths for uni studies. Um, da, 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 da. It will be a proper longer lesson. If you've got stuff to do, if you've got stuff to do, plus will tell me what to do because I'm so bored. Um, but you're free to go now. The rest of you guys, I mean, just hang around and chat. You're more than welcome to. We haven't seen each other in a while. And you're, oh, so of course, you're always welcome to. Um, you're just going to go on a gap year. What are you going to do in a gap year? I want to know what Katarina's doing. Are you not going to do languages? I remember you're super good at languages. Will the test at Candy? Now, that is a very good question. I asked for this. And I also said, we should help you if it happens. And the response was, bye, Steph. The response was, um, we're not sure yet. And that's, that's the thing. I know you, you must get super frustrated because every time all I'm saying to you is, well, look, um, I like to know who Ghost Creek is. Um, any, any person, like, a lot of this stuff has been, they've literally just come to the point of um, talked about but we haven't got an idea. Not the next two lessons. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the Thursdays, this Thursday and next Thursday, so no one has to wake up at 9 a.m. Cover, right? So Wednesday will be as normal, and then Thursday at 9 a.m. will be the one-to-ones. And I will run one-to-ones. Not I, I won't be sleeping, but I do want to reach out to every single person. And not everyone wants to like, sp like spill their life story on YouTube. What I will do after this is... Um, Ghost Freak, I'm Greg. You spelt his name wrong. <laughs> you baited yourself out. Uh, 
can you put in a group chat where everyone's is? Yeah, I will. I will. I'm literally going to do it first six, second six. And I don't know if I'm going to do or Maybe I'll do nine in the, in the thing. Is it a free for a 20? Because we said during gap year, it was about three years of free education. Um, Yes. As long as you haven't had three years of free education. I know B6 will help you because it helped one of my ex-students that was like that. Um, yeah, so as soon as I do register, I want to know who Goose Ghost Freak is because you're not Greg, because Greg can spell his own name. Unless he's trying to double bluff me, in which case, hello. Uh, <laughs> um, tell you what, I will trade you recommendations for maths reading books if you tell me who you are. Because I actually want to know now. So as I said, I'm, I'm going to chat up for a bit because you know what, I've missed you guys and I enjoy talking to you. But if you, you have got stuff to do, go and do stuff. That's comfy. I will, you know, I'll get in contact with all of you. Wednesday is a lesson. Be clear on that. Thursday morning will not be. It'll be one-to-ones. Um, Greg Jeffries, are you happy now? Um, he's also very good at, like, spelling and grammar, and he wouldn't, like, put his words together. Um, Greg also knows more maths books than I ever know. Okay, fine. If you are Greg Jeffries, um, he will definitely know this book. Galois Theory by a guy called Artin. Do you know what his first name is? Let me test if you really are great. Um, but yeah, if you actually, if you are who I think you are, um, Death Aurelia. <laughs> okay, in that case, forget about the Galois Theory. That will, your head would explode. I mean, to be fair, mine would too at this point. Um, what would I do? Um, what would I read? I've got some puzzles, actually, problem. Maybe that's one of the things I'll do on Wednesday. I've got some really, really good problem puzzle things, and that'll keep your brain going. It's Defo Ilya. <laughs> Ghost Freak doesn't sound like Ilya. It's just, that's not an Ilya thing, is it? Ilya's too cool to be called Ghost Freak. There you go, shots fired. So as I said to you, you're free to go. I'm gonna hang around here for about another 10 more minutes, so. If, I'm not going to get offended if people disappear and I'm talking to myself. That It feels like that anyways. Next lesson, we're going to do a lesson. I'm also going to open up the chats um, on the on the phone on uh, Microsoft Teams. I kind of want to hear your voices again. I know it sounds weird, but, you know, I just feel like I'm talking and you don't get a chance to talk. And that's not fun. It's not fun. But anyways, anyways, I'm hanging around for a bit. Um, pop up stuff if you want to know stuff. I want to know who Ghost Freak is. Get Google Meet. I've looked, okay, I've looked at that. I don't think Google Meet is better, but I'll try it. Tell you what, I'll try it before Wednesday, all right? How's that? But I don't believe it's better. The only problem with Microsoft Teams was, and to be fair, let's give Ilya and that credit, because like, after I shouted at them one time, they didn't do it again. It was just everyone was talking all at once. The other thing is I need to have a shave. I haven't told you this, but I've grown a beard. And I don't really want you to see me with a beard here. <laughs> As in, like, it's a proper, like, neck beard. So until I have my shave, I'm not going to show anyone my face. You'll have to wait till Monday's day. Tell number two. If I if, yeah, you've got nothing to do with anything. The motion stuff doesn't matter. Use Google is not great. I mean, I that's what I thought. Tell you what. I mean, I might pop up something. When I do, like, tell everyone one, one to one is, if anyone's around. No, nah, bye, Evie. Um, You gained four kilograms. I mean, I've actually, you're going to laugh at this because it sounds improbable. I've actually started lifting weights again. I mean, it's, this is just sheer boredom. I will give you everything if you want, if you can reveal my identity. Okay. I don't think you're in my class. I'm going to type a name in. And if I'm wrong, you can laugh. But I, you just, it just, I just feel this is you. Am I right? I'll be super happy if it's really easy, by the way. <laughs> you, you're a good lad. Um, yeah, so I can see people are starting to drift off. I'm going to hang around for a few more minutes. I, so maybe five more minutes. Like, no, damn it, maybe? Maybe, oh, come on. You promised to give me anything I want. So you, you can either, <laughs> uh, nuisance. Let's play a game. Okay, we'll play a game. So as I said, like, you guys are done for today. You're done for today. I will pop out a message tomorrow with, you know, everything that you need to know on it. Um, if you want to watch me battle this, you give me five tweets. Okay, fine. Fine. I will play this. Let's play. Is that five clues or can I ask five questions? Is that is it like that?
Oh, they're not waiting on clues there. The people are dropping out and waiting for these clues. Okay, can I ask two questions? I'll give five clues. Okay. Are you male or female? I know that's not very 2020. I know that gender is a spectrum, but I want to know, dang it. I want to know whether you're male or female. Three clues. Okay, three, five, fine, fine, fine. Male or female? I bet Santa knows you're in male. Okay. Have I taught you inside my classroom in the last year? So the last academic year. So it doesn't count if I've kind of helped you in like a booster class. It doesn't count if I've helped you with watch my YouTube videos. That's not what counts. So do you, okay. Okay. So that's two, okay. Give me the clues then. Hit me up with some clues. His last academic. I'm your least favorite student. That's a, oh God. Um, who is my least favorite student? I'm gonna think if this is even true. Um, who do I not like? I don't think you are my least favorite student for what it's worth, keep going. Because I've spoken to my, well, I'm not gonna say who my least favorite student is, but you know, I've spoken to them today. Not in this class, obviously. I have four eyes. Armani, this can't be Armani. Armani's, um, Armani is a different name. I know Armani's name. It's something A-OK, -okay because I remember it being super clever. Um, Alvin, you're not hated, you just say stupid things. And you know, I don't hate you. Just wish you would say silly things. Um, it's not Armani, four eyes. My least favorite student doesn't wear glasses. So you are wrong. You need to give me another clue because my I'm your least favorite student isn't a clue. A hundred thousand exceptions. Or a million exceptions. That's it, okay. Ah, a million exceptions. I don't know that I hate anyone. I mean, I've still got the problem with that. I'm the, you have one minute, I have one minute, and you have bad grammars. Um, let me think. What classes do I run? I don't hate anyone in my tutor group, so it can't be any of them. I hate loads of people in my further math class, but I don't think any of them wear glasses. Um, so that's that's out of the picture. 33, I know, what, 53 plus one is 54, I can handle that. My year 12 class, I don't hate, and hold on a minute, it might be in there. I don't hate anyone, but I'm just thinking, who's got exception? It's not Dante, is it? Can't be Dante. Dante's like my favorite. Shouldn't really say that about like, you know, my year 12. But yeah, I like Dante, can't be Dante. Who really gets on my nerves in that class? No? Time's over, okay, I win, you win. I can see it. I just feel like some of your clues just don't work. Because like I don't really hate. There's a few people that absolutely loathe. But you, I don't think you're any of them. Like the amount of people I hate, you can count on one hand. I mean, you. Here's here's a fun fact about me. If you, if you want me to hate you, I have to like you first. That's the only way I can actually hate people. It has to be like yes, I do wish to know. I super super want to know. So I want to see if your clues make sense. I'm willing to accept defeat. If that makes you feel better. One more clip, all right, I'll take it. Who challenges, it must be man then. But you don't wear glasses. Iman is the one that challenges me the most. Out of all the students put together. 
I mean, you don't wear glasses. I don't think that's a fair thing. I, you do not wear glasses, sir. I feel like that's fraud. Never mind, I'm off. Guys, take care. I'm going to pop up in the live chat who's in for the one-to-ones on Thursday. Um, I love Zabir. Do you? I can't remember you wearing glasses. Okay, so I'm going to pop up in the live chat who's up for the one-to-ones. Remember, Wednesday's a thing. Thursday isn't. Okay? Bye. Iman, well done. You beat me.